Good morning, ladies and gents. Sorry about that. Forgot to switch on the old micro micro. So today, as you can see, we're back in the thin air because we're still in Finland, uh, in Helsinki, and we're going to fly over to Russia, Mother Russia. So um, pop in the plane and let's get on with it. Nice and snowy today. Uh, and they've actually managed to clear some of the runway. Um, as always, our colleague Adam is with us today. Again, let me just turn Adam's microphone up. <laughs> I beg your pardon. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> say good morning, Adam. Good morning, Adam. <laughs> you twat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Adam is uh, being sponsored today by Aeroflot. And uh, obviously, I'm going with Pin Air. So, let's. Uh, well, this is the lights for the better pushback. You're going to hear a lot of attempted Russian today. Uh, let's get the pushback tug in. And then uh, we will start the engines. So, oh, controls you... just come online, so I don't know if we can contact him. What, E F I N? Uh, yeah, Finland control. <sighs> one, two, one, three hundred. came on just as I push back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, you know, it's not good. <laughs> we want no control. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I don't even know what Finnair's call sign is. <laughs> chuckle, chuckle, be Asian. <laughs> Alright. I'm just waiting guys to find out if they're actually online before I push back and get in trouble. Looks like it's FCM. Nice. F FCM. FCM for mother. FCM. Okay, and what's their call sign? Uh, uh, just thin air. Oh, okay, let's just try it then. Finnair 901, good morning. Good day, Finnair 901, has the control, please go ahead. Uh, Finnair, good morning. Um, is it possible to get clearance uh, to uh, Russia? Um, <laughs> Moscow. <laughs> Moscow, indeed. Uh, we are a Airbus 320. Uh, I'm not sure what stand we're on because we're in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, we would like clearance to Russia via the AVI 3 Foxtrot departure. Been air 901. Been air 901. Correction. Yes, it's from 901. You seem to be at stand Whiskey 36 Alpha. And uh, we have now information. Oscar Q8 is. 1001, you are cleared to Moscow via runway 22 right, runway 3 November departure. Initially climb 4000 feet, squawk 5676. 5676. Squawk in 5676 with a QNH of 1001, departing from runway 22 right, cleared to Moscow on the Avra 3 Foxtrot departure, Finn Air 901. Uh, 901, please confirm RVEP 3 November departure, initial climb 4000 feet. What did he say? Things are runway to 2 2 right. Uh, so, one, just one second. I so, just want to make sure I'm giving you the right departure. Because um, we were expecting 2 2 left, but okay. So, it's probably changed my departure. Avin 3 November, is that correct? Hey, from our web 3 number base, correct, and uh, that's why we have the 80s where you can read or listen to departure runway. 
yeah, my, my apologies, sir. Uh, we set all this up before you came online, so we were going off of 2-2 two, two left, that's why. Yeah, no problem. I think you, you can change it. Yep, that's no problem. We'll, uh, we'll make that adjustment. Thank you. Skywings 5 Alpha. Let to leave control airspace via descent and on the QX unit 9R82 report intentions and uh, no reported traffic. I've just got to just update the uh, departure, guys. Because we're now doing 22 right. I'm on my way back, my sim crashed as soon as I changed the. Uh, Star Wings 5 Alpha Roger, departure it crashed. Uh, established on final approach course. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't like it. This one's not liking it either. It hasn't crashed, but I'm pressing insert. It's not going into the flight plan. I think it's yeah, no, it takes a while sometimes for it to load. Changed it, but... As far as I can work out, it's changed it. Yeah, to change it, it's fine. Right. Okay. So the initial climb was 5,000 and uh, the squawkiness. The squawkiness is 5,6. Wait for you, wait until you've got loaded back in. Uh, no, you can carry on if you like, catch up. It won't take me long. Um, I'll just I'll just do the pushback so that we're doing something. Well, I'll just go slow on everything. Pin nine zero one, uh, ready for pushback and start, sir. Pin nine zero one, push a start up road facing northeast. Push back approved, face northeast, Finn Air 901. Okay. Right, guys, push back, tug. Disconnected, so let's go ahead and. Yep, he's connected. Do the pushback really slowly uh, whilst I get my engine started, as we don't want to have another situation where I'm standing there uh, wondering why I'm not going anywhere because they've forgotten to start the engines. Okay, let's bring up that online. Availability. That's lovely. And we're back we go. Now we can disconnect the external power now. Okay. Let's get engine number two started.
Okay, that looks good. Cut in on a two four continuity descent to three thousand eight hundred feet. Kinex non rate fast click RMP approach runway one six report established on approach course. Okay, we start engine number one. Which is one zero zero one. Just loading back into the airport now. Okay. Oh, we'd have a fun taxi, wouldn't we? <laughs> see now, see now what jank that is. Right, let's just start to turn the plane. Four and four, tax to hold and port the solo delta. <coughs> if anyone knows personally how to set up camera angles, that'd be brilliant. Skywings for a fall from wind one on a zero degrees, eight knots, available between one three zero and Probably two three zero, one runway two one three. Uh? There's got to be a camera add on out there somewhere for it. Oh, there is. But... Catena 24, new QNH 984. As soon as you can, log in so you, you're not talking over the controller light in respect that you're taking out your voice because they're speaking, if that makes sense. I'm oh, sorry. No, 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 it's, it's, it's not good for you. Uh, Cool, cool, cool. There's one taxiing out to the runway over there. Okay, let's check the flight surfaces. Left and right. Up some downsy. Okay, guys. What? Well, I've just updated the flyby where it's taking a bit longer to load in. Oh. 
I got a new uh, a new little app that sits on your desktop and just I don't know every three or four days click on it and it updates anything to do with like um, anything that you've added it just updates it for you if there's been an update mm. I could do with one of those. Turn forward, so line up runway to the right. Just get us line up there, there right, that's right, that's Then I shall share that information with you. Cheers. But only, f only for you. <laughs> not share, not sharing it with no one else. Um. Yeah. I mean, like getting the replay mode working. That that was a big bonus. So now we've kind of got, it's a weird and weird and wonderful way, but I did manage to watch myself land off. Going five alpha land, it's um, three, five, back to April. Right, we're going to taxi to the runway really slowly. Oh, there you are, you've popped back in now. Finair 901, ready for taxi, sir, to runway 22 two right. Finair 901. Taxi via Alpha Victor to all in point of Sulu Golf. Taxi via Alpha Victor to holding point of Zulu Golf. Uh, Fenair 901. Fenair 485, wind 170 degrees and 9 knots, runway 22 right, take off. Take off, take off. Take off, let's go. Yeah, I won't be far behind you. No, that's fine, I'm going to taxi slow anyway, I'm just going to let it taxi on idle. Right, let's just make sure we've got uh, the right lights on, so we should have our taxi lights on, which we have. Uh, strobes were already on, beacons already on, they're already on, that looks yummy. We can now, because we've got the engines on, we can now turn off the APUs, we no longer require that. Jesus, it's taxiing fast. And not steering. Oh no, not again. Steering back to front again. Oh my lord. Yes. Sorry? Not what you want. No, it's steering back to front again. Like, I'm putting my right foot down and it's not steering to the right. Yeah, it was in one of these sands. Three four eight five radar contact. Climb flight level three five zero. That's the same. Three four three five zero three four eight five. I truly do not understand why this this happens every time I load into this plane. Like I'm, I've got full steer lock on left. Let's take it slowly. Seems to work if I do it slowly. My right, holding point. I'm gonna get clearance now. Okay. Computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. Aero 185. Kitana 24. Wind. 170 degrees, 10 knots, runway 16. Little land. Let's run runway 16. Say an 
Fred Nanisero One Way ja Sulu Golf Cross Run Way Two Tulles can continue to text the road to Whiskey Golf. Continue to Whiskey Golf across the runway to two left and down Golf uh, in a 901. Fred 485 clip direct Ipevo. Uh, I might want to call again. I heard yeah, you speak. Error 485. R485, Helsinki Control, good day. Go ahead. Good day. Um, I'm practically clear with Moscow. Uh, the uh, RV3 November, November departure from, from runway 22 right. Airflot 85, you are clear to Moscow via runway 22 right. RV3 November departure. Initially climb 4000 feet, squawk 1444. Clear to Moscow on the RV3 November departure, runway 22 right, initial climb 4000 feet, squawking 1444. Airflot 84 clearance correct and uh, information pop up, QNET 1000. We're just going to stay with yeah, the plane, guys. Katayana on it, 4. Roadster climb 3,800 feet to via right turn direct only. That's it, 3,000 feet. Let's get out of the field, not a two mark box. Tell us keep information, Papa, and pass 321 for good clearance to Rovanim. Terve Fene to Mike Foxtrot. You are clear to Rovanim via runway to the right, Tevoro 3, November departure, initially clamp 4000 feet, squawk 3316. Clear to Rovanim. Runway 2 to right, Tevru, 3 November, squawk 3316, now 2 Mark Foxtrot. 2 Mark Foxtrot, the clear is correct. 3901, why a whiskey golf line up runway 2 to right? Line up runway 2 to right, which, via whiskey golf, uh, run, been there 901. God, this is just like challenging, this is getting this on the runway. Aeroflot 85 ready for pushback and start. Aeroflot 85, push a start up road facing northeast. Pushing back facing northeast, Aeroflot 85. 3901, wind 170 degrees, 8 knots, runway 22 right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Finan 901. Weird. It literally is reacting to the opposite of what my feet are doing. I tell it to turn left, it's me putting my right foot down. Weird. Once you're in the air, uh, have a look at the settings. <laughs> well, I think so, yeah. It's getting into the air that's the problem. Right, Togo. Trying to keep it straight down the runway will be interesting. Oh, when it's, everything's in reverse. Let's just get up in the air, boysies. Katana 24, clear to RNP approach, uh, runway 16. Report established on funnel. Approach course. Get RMP approach, runway 16. Report funnel approach course. Katana 24. Okay, we're up, and we're out of here. Okay, landing gear's up. Flaps can now come up. We're starting our initial climb to 5,000 feet. Let's have a look at this. Charlie Snowy.
9901, report altitude. Bene 901, approaching 5000 feet. Bene 901, radar contact. You were cleared for 4000 feet. Now climb to flight level 380. 380, my apologies, sir. I've misheard you. He is very rude, and I may have to not like him. <laughs> He's right though, you were clear to 4,000 feet. That's not the point. <laughs> Still don't like him. He's very mean. He did me a mean. <laughs> Arrow 485, ready for taxi. Arrow 485, taxi to holding point to Sulu Golf. Taxi into holding point Sulu Golf. Right, we're just climbing now, boys. Suck, climbing up now. I shall now endeavour to turn off the cameras. One, two, that way, go. That way, you guys can enjoy the most spectacular scene. As we head off to Mother Russia. Done, yeah. Well done, yeah, yeah. Right, let's go to standard. I'm not what sure that does. Hold on, what's that about? Q and H. There you go. Standard. 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 <laughs> let's get the landing lights off. And See, like runway lights can come off. Uh, we can get the seatbelt lights into. Request uh, start. Stand one at pin number two, Mark Foxtrot. Pin two, Mark Foxtrot. To push start approach facing northwest. Push start approach facing northwest. Pin number two, Mark Foxtrot. Air Force eight five over your solo golf cross runway two to left and continue taxi to hold for the whiskey golf. Runway two two left. Coming up to uh, taxi point in the field. I like that one. That's nice. Train one clear direct in logo. Clear direct to in logo. Uh, ready to know zero one. What was that noise? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 I just noticed there's a bloody... Me into it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? It's sad as I can say it. Oh no, don't start messing me about, flight plan. Direct, direct, direct to... Flog. This one. There we go. Gee whiz, are we turning back on ourselves? Got that out of two four final approach course. Here we are. Cut then on a two four wind to one seven zero degrees so one zero knot. Runaway one six exactly to that. You put me off, I'm sorting out my scenes. Uh, my screens. Well, it seemed... <laughs> right, that, that can be our external, uh, our external camera for day, guys. So, yeah, we have that one, and we'll do the external. Let me turn down the uh, engine sounds a little bit. This works, but uh, we'll sell it over. PT audio and cockpit unrealistic. What the hell is that mean? Exterior master volume, exterior interior volume. 
bit of wind noise, or like a bit of wind noise. I'll turn that down. All right, aircraft configuration. Uh... Oh no, I've done it again. You done? Look off with no fuel. Oh my lord, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> something with you. <laughs> Please tell me the flight no fuel, times. No engines. No <laughs> tell me no this flight. Tell me this flight's not. Tell me this flight's no longer than an hour or so. Uh, it's about an hour and twenty. Yeah, that'll be all right. I've got uh, four thousand tons. How much have you got? Sorry, four thousand kilos. I've got um. Seven thousand so, kilos. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Is that? For like the fuel and stuff. So. <laughs> I got the skinny. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's see how skinny have I gone. <laughs> Oh wow, well, it says the block fuel is six eight six seven. Yeah. And I've got four thousand. Brenda nine zero one, please confirm direct in log. Direct in log, yeah. Uh, that's what we're doing. Brenda nine zero one. Brenda nine zero one. Inlock is actually on your 2 o'clock moment. My apologies, sir. Planes are doing plain things, but we're now turning slightly to our right to intercept Inlock. Roger, thank you. That's what I do, I just blame it on the plane. This is a uh, morning recording. Yeah, it's a morning recording where Adam actually woke me up. <laughs> to be fair. Uh... He doesn't want you to leave, he's racist against Euroflot. Four hundred and seventy nine miles to go. Uh, and I really don't think there's anything I can do. Radar contact six spectrum runway two one. And the weather information for one available. Could you, while you're down there, could you do me a favour? Bring some fuel. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Wind one nine zero degrees and one one knots. Visibility ten kilometers or more. Overcast at three hundred feet. Temperature minus six and two point minus seven. Unit nine eight seven at transit eleven seven zero. Expect tireless two approach runway two one.
I think you want to really ought to call him back. to refill but it's not done it. I'm now down to 2,600. <laughs> oh no! No! Might be an interesting recording then, Fix. No, I think what will happen is you'll have to find me an airport near a bike. How would you normally refuel the plane if you don't use the tablet? Um, oh, oh, in the app, up above, up. up above the OHS fuel. Uh, fuel, fuel, fuel. But I don't think this will work. to let you refill in air. Over to Unicorn 122, decimal 8 for you, Finair 901. Thank you, sir, for all your patience. So... Okay, I'm just going to put that there. Pass altitude 3,400 for 4,000. Perfect for further contact. Climb one level 370. Well done. Now that I'm off the radar. Level 370, what? 85. Let me have a look, guys. Mark, blocks up wind 100 degrees, 8 knots, runway 2 right, clear to Lego. 7 seconds to the right, Mark, blocks up. Alright, let's see if this works now. No, it's not doing it. Oh my gosh. Better find an airport nearby. <laughs> Not to tell you where you are. We're down to okay. 11. You might have to go to St. Petersburg. And now it looks like I'm really losing fuel, like hard. Yeah, because think... you're climbing, probably. No, the plane's refueling. No, it's like, it's just golloped loads of fuel away. Like 300 litres of, uh, 300 kilos of fuel in the few se last few seconds. Hold on, what's it doing now? Is it going back up? No, it went back to 900 after dropping to eight. What's it say for fuel flow? One, two, how many kilograms per minute? Uh, Having so what's that? En engine fuel. Uh, Fred, do you want to 
Blaitevelle Triisekser. Blaitevelle Triisekser of Hinnar 2, what for? Hold on, maybe I was in... You said I have 15,220 kilograms. Yeah, so where's it getting the other reading from? I don't know either. What button did I have originally on there? Can you share your screen so I can look? Arrow flop 8 5, clear direct in logo. Arrow flop 8 5, clear direct in logo. Sorry about this, guys. We're just trying to sort out my mess. I, I was reading the engines. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Oh, was... Are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, look, I've got lo I've got loads of fuel. I've just seen it. <laughs> what were you reading? Yes. And no wonder it took a nosedive, the engines went into a more <laughs> cruise out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself? <laughs> oh. The only person that's going to be laughing about this is Eddie when he wants this back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So, I don't know if the refueling trick worked, but at the I moment we've got plenty. If anything, we probably got too much, but my cons uh, fuel flow is 40 at the moment. 40 kilos a minute. Is that about right? Uh, yeah, okay, let's let's go over to Unicorn me. Unicorn me. Okay. There we go, guys. What can I say? Right, okay. The next recording that we do from around the world is going to be perfect. No mistake. Okay. I love the. I love your ambitious thoughts on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I truly, truly do. And that wasn't the only thing that happened last night. <coughs> um, whilst I was live streaming, my microphone died. It ran out of gomi juice. So, I had to jump onto a different mic. So, yeah. I'm thinking of renaming the title of this Around the World with One Idiot and One Comedian. One Comedian? You. That's alright. <laughs> you don't care as long as you're not the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let me set this up for the next one. So, can I just talk to you, if I may? So, that list you sent me of around the world. Yes. Um, the only thing I was a little bit confused about, apart from everything, was that we'd already started and it wasn't following where we'd been or anything. No, I know, because that was... It, that's just an optimised route around the world. Oh. We haven't done it the optimised way. We've started in the UK because that's where we're from, obviously. Yeah. And just sort of carried on oblivious. But if you want to do it optim optimally, start in the Falkland Islands. <laughs> really? Yeah. I did see that and I thought, is he being funny? Why has he put the Falkland Islands as the first one? I didn't realise it wasn't... You'd got it from somewhere else. Yeah, I used, uh, I used a programme. Well, program off, uh, yeah. yeah. It does all my optimised rigs and stuff. So just out of curiosity, to give our viewers 
a tasty tidbit of where we're going after this. Where are we going from Russia to? Uh, from Russia with what? <laughs> um, Obviously. But I haven't worked out yet. I'm thinking probably Poland. Okay. Maybe the cheeky Warsaw. Well, as long as we don't go down through Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could always uh, annex Ukraine. <laughs> uh, to any of our Ukrainian visitors, we are fully behind you. <laughs> to all our Russian friends, go get them! neutral. we do supply weapons to Ukraine. <laughs> yes, secretly, yes! <laughs> AKA Paul and Adam. War dogs. Oh god. I like the Ukrainian foreign policy might be more friendly than the Russians. I think we should change the subject before MI5 or 6 are coming through the door. <laughs> uh. I can barely supply a cheese and ham sandwich. <coughs> well, I didn't, when I said we supply weapons, Oh! No, we wouldn't that, do that, such a thing. No, probably not. He did indeed, didn't he? He didn't sound like a man who was having a happy time. You should try being, try being a Gatwick. Like that. Apart from the American one. The American one. Oh, the Americans are just laid back, chilled, aren't they? Yeah. Everything that you wouldn't expect an American to be. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they're normally quite, <laughs> they're normally quite uptight, like, you know? Not strict, I mean, I would never really say they'd be strict, but, yeah. Or anyone gets the opinion that British people just hate everyone. <laughs> yeah, the truth, we do. We do hate everyone, but that includes ourselves as well, so... <laughs> <laughs> we hold ourselves in as much contempt as we hold anyone. Anyway. Uh, especially if it They're comes into them. politics. Adam, you need... Oh god, yeah. Why do you think we voted Boris Johnson into power? <laughs> because we wanted someone that with literally no idea of hairstyle as a Prime Minister, I thought. No idea of how to run a country. <laughs> just for a laugh, just to see what would happen. Oh, this is true. And when we elected Tony Blair, we wanted to see what it'd be like to go to war with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he must have been getting some serious backhanders. He's not looking too clever now, is he? Like, he is aged bad. Well, yeah, I think I'd probably aged bad if I was Prime Minister. But you got to admit, this is the worst I've ever seen any Prime Minister engaged in so much controversy. You know, he could be, he be, could be the very first, no he doesn't give a damn, but he could be the very first Prime Minister to actually be a sitting Prime Minister quizzed by the police. I have never understood why they don't make him have an office, like a city hall, and his home be his home. You know, I, I don't get that at all. I mean, even the White House has what they call the West Wing, which is where all the the politics happens, you know? And it's a much bigger house. Oh yeah, Diamond Street's oh, it's it's house, it? it literally is. And the only I mean, difference it's is, is yeah, because it's 10 and 11, isn't it? Yeah, 
and it goes out further at the back, obviously. But still, I mean, it's just, there's, you're gonna get a situation like that. But I'm just, I mean, he has the country place called Checkers, doesn't he? But I yeah. think that's just too far away. That's the, is it just the Conservatives that come to Checkers there? No, 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 Checkers is for any Prime Minister. It's the, it's the, it's the, what they call the country retreat for the Prime Minister. But it's just a bit too far away. I think it's in Oxfordshire, isn't it? Yeah, well, it, it makes me think of Chagas, Keith Jackman. Oh God, don't even mention that geezer's name. Another one, another one who decided he wanted to stay popular and went on Big Brother and got naked. Was it Big Brother or get me out of here? One of them, I and he... I did meet him when I was little. He, uh, you know, can you remember watching Big Breakfast? Yes, oh, on Fridays. Yeah, he, he knocked on my door one morning. He knocked on your door? Yeah, yeah, can you remember he used to knock on random people's doors in the morning? And then how, go, well, I just out of curiosity, how old were you? I was about nine or ten. Oh, a bit too, too, a bit too old then to have been traded out, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, can't remember, I can't remember what happened exactly, but he, um, he didn't stay long and then he went somewhere else. He went through the other street and he knocked on my mate at school's house. And they ended up winning the bloody holiday to go road, Disney. What, how, how did they win it and you didn't? I don't know, I can't remember. I think I, I think I, um, Someone opened the door and say, what do you like, want? Get out of here, Cheggers. <laughs> I think we were still in bed because my school was like literally around the corner from where I lived. Oh, so you got up five minutes before the bell went? Yeah, pretty much. Well, not quite five minutes, but I think he knocked on the door at like seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And we didn't usually get up till like half seven, eight o'clock. <laughs> uh, we took too long answering the door. But... Oh, I just so remember, cool. like, because I was always up before anyone else when I was a kid. Yeah. I remember, like, shouting, Mom, Mom, there's a man at the door. <laughs> and uh, Keith Jagger was like, Can I pick him on the go? He's saying, Can I send him the log on here? I'm out this evening. He said, Can I send him the log on WhatsApp? How am I supposed to send oh. him. The log on WhatsApp. Take a picture of it. No, 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 no. It's a text file. I just don't know. You put it in an email and email it to yourself and then open it through your phone. Yeah. Well, you can get WhatsApp web, can't you? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, Probably you can. ways to do it, but. Well, I wasn't even thinking that. I was thinking how to get to the crash log. I'm not 100% sure how you get to the crash log on the on the X-Plane. Hold on, let me have a look. X-Plane shortcut. Just in your X-Plane folder, and it'll just say log. As long as you haven't opened it since then. No, I have not. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, let's have a look. No, I haven't touched it at all. Uh, X-Plane started on Tuesday at 22. There we go. So if we go down, it will tell me what happened. Uh, let's have a look. Custom scenery loaded in. Go down, it's going to be right near the bottom of what happened. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Could not locate image file for terrain. Custom scenery. I've got it. Uh, and then it, it clearly says transition from state normal to state shutting down. So it was custom scenery Orbex US NoCal TX Ortho terrain. 
and it said it couldn't find the scenery, so then it just shut down the scene. Here, terrain, terrain. Shut no, I didn't. Down. Shut down. <laughs> Reference from file. So it looks like. Yeah, it look. Yeah, it looks like to me like I'm gonna have to re-verify the files. Uh, on the US no cal so it's California US no cal TE I'll send it to him anyway um, let me save uh, save this uh, save as uh, crash log crash log uh, put it on my desktop. Yeah, no, luckily, luckily all it is is a TXT file. So I've saved it there. If I send it to you on your WhatsApp, not on your WhatsApp, in your Discord, can you move it to your WhatsApp? Uh, you... Yeah, probably. Well, let's just try and see, and then see if you can post it in in the thingy. Right. Discord, Adam. Right, upload. Desktop. Xpilot. Uh, crash log. Here we go. Okay. Right, there you go. I sent it to you. And then if you can send that into the group one. Because me and uh, Eddie were having a world of a time. Like I was, I was up in a little sub 340, you know, proppy proppy. And yeah. Um, yeah, we were actually having a nice time. I was actually really starting to like that plane. Did you get it? He's out tonight, so I've got no company for me stream tonight. Oh, God. You'll be right. Yeah, I'll have Novad popping. Say two or three comments, including the word fact. And then he'll disappear. Or I'll have Sean coming in, making zero sense about anything and asking for money. <clears throat> the son I never wanted. Oh yeah, so crypto. Oh yeah, you were telling me about the crypto, go on. Tune in today guys as we fly around the world and basically just have a soap opera conversation throughout the whole flight. Go on, what happened? It's not even a flake off of a Bitcoin, but okay. No. <laughs> you know, if you if you rubbed it against a cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, go on. And then I bought some uh, one called Tectonic. Yes. And then the other one's called BenQI. You really, if I if I may interject, you really need to buy Shiba. Yep, it's still ridiculously priced. For what it is, it's gonna get to a cent, mate. That's, there's no doubt in it. It might take four years, might take five years, but I'm guaranteeing you, 
If it hits a cent and you've got anywhere like I've got, it's 730,000 pounds, mate. Just getting one cent. Well, you say that, but Dogecoin started lower than this. Trillion. <laughs> and it's being burnt every week by the people that own it. Every week they're burning off like 30, 50 million. So it, it's lo lo losing the amount, it's going down. It was more than that at one point. But the point I'm trying to make is Dogecoin was a, a lower price than Shiba at one time. I'll buy two million Shiba. I would. Yeah, that's even more than I've got. But I made a nice little price on it when it when it skyrocketed a couple of weeks, uh, a few months back. As I said to you, I bought I bought the equivalent of thirty million for just fifty dollars and sold off the thirty million. Still had seven hundred and fifty thousand left. And made three thousand on it. Mmm, it was nice. It was well enough, especially when literally a week later the price just crashed. It, at one point it was trading at nine thousand, and it's dropped all the way back down to two five. So this is the time, even for myself, this would be the time to go back in, buy it for like six hundred pounds, and I'm still going to be laughing all the way to the bank because I still would have made. Two thousand four hundred pound off it, and just sit on it until it crimes again. Doge. I've got some Doge on Mars. <laughs> is that another? Is that another Doge coin? It's another what's it one, yeah. Uh, uh, got Doge old. Well, that's not made anything since I it. It's not getting the traction. That's the thing. See, Shibu's getting the traction because it's got a lot of big streamers now, constantly talking about it. And that's why I'm telling you, you need to get on it. Yeah, it's gone up in the last eight hours. It's gone up past 7%. And if you go back further than that, it's gone up by about 20%. Mm. But the good thing is, it's now accepted at the place where I, in the UK, they're now buying and selling it. So if you buy it off of the app on your phone, for argument's sake, at least you've now got a place in the UK that will sell it, uh, buy it off you. So, but you just got to be prepared to sit on it, you know. But don't put in too much that if the whole crypto thing completely blows up in people's faces. Yeah. Which I don't personally see it. Yeah, I don't personally see it ever happening. I think eventually the people behind uh, the, the finances will just have to regulate it. And once that happens, then the prices will start skyrocketing again. Because people will say, okay, now it's legit. They just need to get the, the, they need to get the bad element out of crypto, which is the, the drug dealers and, and the people that are using it to funnel money un undetected around the world. Money laundering, yeah, because that's what they're using it for, and that's why it's got such a bad rep. Oh my god, if I s hold on, I haven't got an arrival. Oh, sugar plum fairies. I uh, think I'm going to six right. Okay. Okay. You and Lee. Arrival. Six right, yeah. Yeah. Have you got a, a star? Yeah. devil it's shame uh, according to this I should have already sent it ages ago what? no you zoomed out your pillow oh thank god for that <laughs> I nearly had a sh I nearly had a Sean Connery we still got 257 miles well, when do we do the top of December with these stupid things it doesn't have it does it no it's not like the uh, zebra oh my god you have to so, work it out on the uh, tablet next to you. 
Right, so it's 255 miles. Okay, let's have a look. One second, baby. Uh, top of descent calendar, cal calculator even. Right, current out uh, is that. Target altitude, let's go with 3,000. Start your descent in about 110 nautical miles. That's at three. What do we normally come down at? Three or two? Yeah, three. Okay. All right. So we're still good for 110 miles. No, no, no. Thought you sent about 110 nautical miles before target. Why am I not able to move now on my screen? Oh, there we go. Nearly had a panic then. I thought the bloody game had froze. You misread that then, Paul. Why? What's wrong? What does it say underneath the 110? Start your descent 110 nautical goals before target. Yeah, not in 110 miles, but. Uh, yeah, 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 I got it, got it, got it. Sorry, Adam, you said something and I was reading a message. Yeah, I was just saying it says on the FMC at Feigl, I need to be at flight level 120. But then, at Tafaz, I need to go back up to flight level 370. To then come back down to flight level 50. Oh. Make any sense at all? No, not particularly. So 110 miles before target, so it's 234, so when we're at what, 100 and... And that says, when it says distance 110. That's when we start descending. Yeah, or just, I'd start descending just before that. You know? I'd say 140, wouldn't you, just to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room. Yeah, it's just a smidge. I think I coined that phrase and now everyone's using it. now got your parcel what we need you to do because there was a charge uh, we need for you to pay X amount
I got an email up from someone called Alicia Tronco. I'm not opening it because it doesn't look right. Yeah, I can see many dodgy emails. Mm. Oh no, not another update. Hold on, there's an update or something. Let's reading it. It's been our work since the rollout of uh, which A tish tosh, it was. I just read the email, it's a load of tish tosh. Not um, about Patsim, it's not of any relevance. <coughs> oh, I'm definitely. Oh, Jesus, yeah, I'm definitely not. Let me delete that one. Uh, let's report that as spam. So many security checks I have to go through. Let's get rid of it now. Airport security restricted zone ID pass. Yeah, well, you're going airside, didn't you? Counter terrorism checks. <laughs> WYD mean? And you're too bothered to write the whole thing. What you mean? Why shame for No, Sean. He said you're lucky you're not in school. Wouldn't mind being back in school to be honest. Things were considerably easier back then. Don't have to worry about bills. So I put thanks. I didn't know what really what else to say to that. But then he replied WYD. <sighs> Let me shout out the window at the next 12 year old that walks past. What does WYD mean? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I have literally no idea. Let's see what the Urban Dictionary says for Y W Y D. When I drink. When I drink. <laughs> right, okay. Not sure how that helps the situation, but okay. I.e. a person that doesn't smoke normally but begins to bomb smoke from others a few drinks in the evening. Very few these people never buy a pack of cigarettes ever. Dude, I'm buzzed. Can I have a cigarette? 
viewed your WID. What's the app for, what's the thing you downloaded or needed? ADP mobile. Oh. It's so I can check my um paychecks and stuff like that. Self service registration for employees. Um, I'll see if I can find that thing for you. Uh, downloads. Uh, no, it wasn't on that one, but. Have a look. This is not an account. One second. Must be this one. Yeah, it is. Right, and I'll find out what is that thing I downloaded, Jesse, so you can get it. Right, it's called. Are you listening? MFS, MSFS Community Downloader and it's one app yeah MFS Community Downloader and even if you haven't got those bits installed on those planes so like the 7, uh, 747 by Salty and the 787 by some other lot I can't remember off the top of my head you just click install and it puts it all in for you you don't have to go around finding it, and then whenever it up, there's an update for it, just open the app. I don't know, once oh, a week I or something. Got this, yeah, I oh, have we got it. Uh, no, it won't. No, there's nothing like that. You've got to do that yourself because otherwise, could you imagine how big it would have to be? I mean, it does about 20 things already, but it would be like 100 things. And it would be great if at the very top, it would just, there'd be one thing where you click up, That's what update. I want. Yeah, well, there's nothing out there for that. <laughs> I can get that for my uh, World of Warcraft. Apologies, good sir. Um, the hand of God, as I call them. Was chatting shit in my ear. Oh, 
Oh, you're not getting paid. Uh, it doesn't say on my contract how much I get paid. Why would you want to be paid? You're so cheeky expecting money. Oh, I'll get paid £10 an hour. Not bad, I suppose, for unskilled labour. Yeah. Not saying that you're unskilled because I know you're at uni, but I'm on about the job in question we didn't require a particular <laughs> skill base. No. So, therefore, technically, um, unskilled labour. That's I just. Just completely came out wrong. Last Friday in a month or the last day? Because that could fall on a Sunday. Well, just the last day of each month. These are the things on, you need to on know. Or around. These things are critical. Critical. Critical, mate. Critical. It says payable per blah 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 per hour, payable in arrears on or around the last day of each month. Now. Jesus Christ, I should have been descending. Ah, oh, my lord. So now I'm going to have to descend harder than what I was planning on. I do not like this not having VNAV. I really do not like it. Adam. Hello. Yeah, I should have been descending like 10 miles ago. Or even oh. 20. From now I'm the well, descender. Three and a half. Keep an eye on these things, yeah? Yeah, I know, I know. I was looking at something else. What can I say? I'm a bad person. <laughs> as long as you know it. Oh yeah, I know it. What's the temperature in Moscow? Zero degrees. Good job I brought my fur cup. Uh, fur cup. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say my fur coat. <laughs> and then I was going to say something else, but I know it's definitely not for the ears of the disturbed YouTube channel. <laughs> oh my god. Right, no treats. <laughs> Have you ever seen a cat do a 180 so fast? Yeah. Come here if you want treat treats. Mm. You naughty kid, kids. Kid. 
literally ran out of the room and went no treats and he just went whoo back into the room. <laughs> that cat is such a using bitch. Well this is a straight in isn't it? I think, I don't know, maybe not. No, well, it's a straight in and around, so yeah. Vladimir, are you listening? Yeah, I was just sending a message. Oh. Right, have we got an FM, have we got a uh, radio tuned in? What are we doing? Memory like a fish cake. Right. Six right. Six right. Yeah, just want to get the course. Zero six four. Zero six four. Sorry? Enter destination data. Uh, okay. Lord of the messes of our telling stay present. What did you buy out? figure out where we are on the map. Uh, oh, here we are. Wow, there's a lot of flights coming into here. Okay. Just getting the meta. The meta. One zero zero six. One zero zero six. Temperature. Did you say it was one degree? Zero degrees. Now. Uh, I'll see if you get down in time. <laughs> I'm still I'm still pushing it as far as I can. It's not exactly helping, I know. Right. Let's bring her down to 250. Let's get the speedy brakes out to help slow down the plane. Give me a bit more time. One of these days we'll have an uneventful trip. Supposed to be at flight level 5,000 by here, look. And you're at, what, 15? 
Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I'm just gonna have a. Uh, I'm just gonna have a look. Uh, turdy. <laughs> 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 yeah. I want to see if there's a hold I can put in. No, not in this plane. It just says hold is not not yet implemented. Well, yeah, imp oh my lord. Yeah, I think so. Give myself enough. I mean, I'm, let's have a look. How far well, have we got? Concentrate on what you should have been doing. <laughs> Who do you know that does that? Don't mention all these names. <laughs> Streamers that I won't mention. Eddie, you, you know, he noticed that the uh, title of the stream was wrong yesterday. <laughs> Repeatedly. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, everyone apart from you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Right, so I'm going to have to go into heading mode, didn't we? Because we're not going to make it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm keeping it going, but I'm not losing the speed or nothing. The saving grace here is there's no control on it, Moscow. Yeah. Right, let's go heading mode. Hold on. All right. All right heading mode. Can't imagine it's still turning. Oh, there we go. The issue is, I would actually, I do feel like I will make it, but then I'll be too fast. <coughs> and I won't get the speed off. I think if I just go out here and then do a, go back to my route, we should be all right. Yeah. I just need a bit of runoff. As long as there's not a runoff, it's not into a mountain. And I never sorted out looking at what was going on with my controls either. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you just need to reverse the applicants on the options. Um, assisted control options. Uh, control. Have a look. There is. Let's go back and reverse them. Alright, see. I don't know which way that should be going. That's one way, and that's the other. Well, if we're going the wrong way now, then just reverse it, it should be going that way. Okay, so that's left, that's right, and that's how it was already set. Uh, and there are the brakes. Let me just apply and save it. Okay.
Well, that won't be of any good. Nothing really has come out since, has it? And nothing's going to come out now because the police are involved, conveniently. If you think about it, the whole situation is extremely convenient. Right, okay, we got the speed off, we got the plane down, so we're just manually bringing it round now. Okay, and we've got the ILS. Okay guys, we're just coming up to uh, re-intercept the ILS after having to take a little uh, scenic route round to get to here. Okay. Laps two. Okay, we've got our diamonds. We shall be getting ready for our landing. I'm dreading it because we don't know what's going to happen with the controls as they're coming. So I'm going to go with medium brakes just in case all else fails. At least the plane will stop. Okay. Alright, let's put the cameras on. And then, for the love of God, I need to remember to uh, turn on the uh, recording equipment. Just hopefully, we get replay. It's a work in progress, I'm still working on the replay situation. Alright, let's go with the approach mode. Okay. And we locked onto the ILS. Coming round onto the ILS now. Speed 180. Runway is straight ahead. How far out are you, Adam? Uh, 50 miles. Okay. We'll get to see you coming in then. A little delay uh, that we went through. At least it means I'll be able to see you coming in. 
Any runway in sight? I would just like to point out, in the last two years, it's the first time I've ever been to Moscow. I imagine they'll be saying that a lot as we go around the world. I think the furthest over I've been is like somewhere like Latvia or something, and flown back from Latvia. Yeah. I'm guessing you're muting because you're watching something. <laughs> watching the Prime Minister's questions. <laughs> sorry, you spoke. Sorry, Adam. What did you say? I've been watching PMQs. Oh. Uh, I don't... I can't be bothered with it, because it's just... It's more... It, when I was watching a, a thing about it, they said it's just... It's literally just showmen. Just attacking each other, uh, uh, the front benches attacking each other and that's about as far as it goes like there's no purpose to it if that makes sense right speed down to 160 a little bit bouncy now as we're coming in okay let's go flaps three We're on the glide slope. I'm having a lot of luck losing the, the power, the speed here. Hold on. Okay, down to 160, but I'm trying to get down to 140. Okay. Okay. Take the auto throttles off. Alright, autopilot off. Okay. Use my plane. 500. Too low. Terrain. Oh. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Oh, record, 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 record. She's nearly forgot to press the record button. Three hundred. God, it's hard to see these runways with the snow. This is what I was say. So, so Sean was saying. It's unrealistic because the the runways wouldn't be covered in snow. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Oh gee whiz, that didn't sound too good. And I got the planes going off the runway. Just bringing it back, bringing it back, bringing it back. Wow, those brakes were a bit keen. Terminals over there. You literally can't see the taxi. This is crazy. Can't see the taxi route to the runway. Off the runway. Yeah, it's everything's covered in snow. All, all, all the runway, everything. You can't see, you can't see where the taxi lines, the taxiways are. So I agree with Shane about that much. They've gone too mad with it. Um. 
I think I found a way out. Okay. Okay, we're off the runway. Taxi lights can stay on for now. We're literally following the cat's eyes here, guys. Just can't see anyone else. It does look pretty though. Right, let's stop that recording. Now I'm going to try to do a replay, guys, but I honestly don't know. So I tested it last night for the first time, and it sort of works. It's not. It's not perfect. It's better than nothing. If nothing is what you're looking for, then you've got the result that you're looking for, but it's not great. Right, we're going to just go and park over here between these gates over here. Cool. Right, let's get the parking brake set. Now, I know from watching someone else, <laughs> you don't turn off any lights or engines to watch the replay. Um, so, let me just sort this out. Okay, how far out are you now? You are you actually just coming in? I'm about twenty miles out. Okay. Right, so let me go to external guys. I mean, I even had to come in with us. The speed breaks up. It's not ideal. Um, and let's see how this this thing works. Right. Then I go. Uh, there we go. So now this is the replay, guys. Here we go. It was a hard landing. I'm not going to lie. I'm blaming the sun. Uh, I'm blaming the moon, and I'm pl I'm blaming the snow. Well, it actually wasn't that bad. I think I think a lot of it was the snow because you can see I'm I am dr I am struggling to keep the plane on the runway because of the amount of snow on it. Uh, other than that, it wasn't too bad. Well, wasn't too shabby. Let's go back and look again. Uh, not sure how you make it go back. I mean, we got to see the replay. I, I can't work out how to make it go backwards to do it again. Uh, okay, stop that. I 
Oh, here we go. Sorry about this, guys. Right, here we go. So, from this angle, the way it's done is it rec the way it records, it records which camera angle you want, and then you can replay it again. Nice. I was, it wasn't a bad landing in the end, guys. I just, obviously, the snow didn't help. Nor the controllers doing what they're supposed to do, like, when it comes to keeping the plane on the runway. But that seems to be an issue only in this plane because I get in the CRJ and I don't have this issue at all where the con I turn left with my left foot and right with my right and it's doing the total opposite in this plane and it's not doing it correctly but you know it is what it is um, right so we will now exit uh, oh look you can change the position look let's see if I can do it backwards now I don't know if this will let me do it uh, from this angle Or just catches the plane and then it follows the plane in. Just trying anything I can to see what camera angles you can mess around with. I don't think there's very much you can do. Or at least I haven't worked out how you do the camera angles. But that's a work in progress. Right, that's fine. Let's stop that. It's like, amazingly, I can do that from that position and it automatically goes back to the back of the plane. A bit bizarre. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, look, you even see me get the wheels out at the very last second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I nearly forgot the wheels as well, just, just, just for pure badness. And now I don't think I can get back to my normal position. I'm just coming in now. Okay. <laughs> I want to say okay. But I, at the moment, I can't get out of the replay mode. Uh. I might still be on the runway. Oh my lord. How do you get out of replay? Oh my lord. <sighs> okay, you I'm just... Um...
Oh wow. Just <laughs> the Yeah, that would be that would be my plane apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm coming in and out. I'm so far behind. Oh, there you are! <laughs> I'm actually at the terminal. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I'm actually at the terminal. That's not my pl no, that is my oh. plane. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> just, let's, just pretend you don't, you didn't see anything here. Nothing to see. There we go. Nice landing there. <laughs> I can't even get out of this view. Uh, let, let's see if what he said works. Hold on. Exit dev, uh, replay mode. Because to my knowledge, all that does is... Oh, hold on. Yes. No, I'm, I'm, my plane is where nowhere where I left it. Couldn't be me. Okay. Right, guys. <laughs> That's a work in progress for sure. Uh, anyway, that was episode number seven. Final again, take off. Um, let me disconnect from the uh, network before someone's moaning on the wrong way. Um, what I want to do actually quickly, guys, is I'm just going to quickly load into the CRJ because. I put some custom um, cameras in that. Now, any time I put custom cameras in, they never seem to work. But, you know, today could be that day that it changes everything. And it might just work. So, uh, I wouldn't count on it, but you know, you never know. You never know. Let's have a look. So, 900. Go out as Lufthansa for the second, because we're only we're only checking. What airport are we at? U E E E. Adam. Okay. Right, let's go and have a look. I just want to see if these custom uh, cameras work. Nice images there of different versions of the 320neo. Carbon. <sighs> Everyone I've ever seen that messes with the textures in the plane ends up breaking the plane. So, not always. Oh, this is interesting. Where's my plane? Oh no, it's. Hold on. So, there's the plane. Yeah, they don't work either. I don't know. I I really struggle with these whole camera positions. I really do. And that cockpit position is way too far. Uh, so now I'm going to have to go ahead and fix that. Because I'm no longer in the cockpit. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can't even get back into the... It's just not even there, look. Yeah, it's messed up. Completely messed up all my camera positions. Ah, <sighs> yay, 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 yay. I mean, that's a nice position, no? But, uh, it's all messed up. I mean, I can't even get back into the plane. Well, I can. Oh, look. See, now, if, if I could just save that view, wouldn't that be great? I could just do like I do in X-Plane. Do Control-Alt. Something. And it would just hold that position. They could see inside the plane. Uh, 
Uh, I can't. It sort of just doesn't work. Um, like you'd want it to. But anyway, I'll fix that. That's on the to fix list. Um, right, thanks for tuning in, guys. I think we had a few laughs along the way there. Um, Adam's happily watching. Uh, yeah, I've landed and logged off. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to go back and use ones I didn't mess with, which I believe was a CRJ700. I hadn't messed with that one. Uh, um, I want to make sure I haven't messed them all up. Well, I don't believe I did. I think I only did it to the 900 and 1000, so I need to go and get them fixed now, the camera views. Which might involve having to reinstall the plane, you know. Yeah, it's fine in this plane. Oh well. Not to worry. I will eventually work out how to do camera views. Yeah, we're fine. We got this one. So that's good. Cool. Alright guys, I will uh, catch you on the next one. And have a great day. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And hit the like button as well guys. That would be really good. And we'll see you for episode 8 very soon.